Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the Frosty Planet. Oof. Uh, we have had some issues with uh, lavatories being out of order, and so finally we were able to get the insulated pipes researched, and now we need to get all that built. So I'm going to high prioritize that construction, and hopefully that gets us figured out here with the you know, ice freezing in the pipes thing. I, and it's such a cool, you know, just as I was thinking about this, it's such a cool mechanic. Like, that happens in real life. You know, you need to worry about pipes freezing and stuff. So it's just, I don't know, I think it's really cool how these uh, game systems kind of create, I, I believe what they call it in the business is emergent gameplay, right? They're like things that happen in the game that end up feeling really unique and real, even though it's just an element of the game system. Like the game system just says, hey, if something is holding water and it's too cold, the water freezes and damages the thing. Like that's a pretty simple mechanic. It makes sense, but, but then like, it creates these situations where it's like, oh no, my pipes burst and now my dupes are peeing everywhere. And you know, it just creates these fun situations that like, come out of the systems working the way they do. And I think it's the same with the gas system, the temperature system, the critters, the plants. There's just a lot of cool things going on and all of the different systems interacting with each other. I really, I love this game. I love the temperature measuring and having to deal with all that. I love the gases, I love the liquids, but we are having some CO2 issues for sure. So, I think, yeah, I think I want to also prioritize all this because we need to get this off gassing ASAP. These oxalite tiles up here. Because right now we're just having some issues. I think the main reason is because as dupes breathe, they lower the air pressure, right? Because they're um, they're consuming 40 grams and they're only creating about one gram. Uh, I forget what the normal, yeah. So they're consuming 100 grams and they're producing two grams. So they're lowering the pressure as they breathe. And that ends up having the impact of air pressures going down pretty consistently. Oof. Yeah, we need to get this oxalate going. This is good though. This will push some of the CO2 down. By having all of these oxalate tiles running. Because the CO2 pressure, if we look around, we can see it's about 400 grams per square. A little denser. Well, it's about the same here, I don't know. It's hard to, I wish you could measure like an average density. Um, but yeah, it's about 500 grams a square and the oxygen's about the same, so. I don't know what all the rules look like for, uh, you know, the density of gases but I do know that this oxalate's gonna help. So that oxygen up here should push its way sideways and down and start to spread. Another thing I could do is open up this chamber. There's a ton of high pressure oxygen in here. So maybe that's the play. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, that seems pretty simple. So let's just open this up. I'll do a couple ladder tiles, a couple airflow tiles here. And that should let a lot of that oxygen back in. Some CO2 will sink down in here, so eventually we'll need to dig across. But that's to be expected. I'll prioritize that as well. So that should fix our oxygen issues for now. Long term, I'm still thinking these alveoveras will be fine. Because these are basically turning ice into a gas. 
into oxygen. So these should result in increasing the pressure overall. And if I have enough of them to consume the uh, CO2, but the problem is the CO2 is not getting there. It's just, uh, it's not flowing like I hoped it would. I think I am gonna need a gas pump, which is a bummer. So let's get that built. Um, ventilation. We're gonna do a gas pump. I'm gonna wanna mine all that too eventually. Uh, I think I'll do a gas pump. Where? Probably just here. And we'll only run it sometimes. So basically I want to pump to the alveoveras. So we'll do a gas pump here, a gas filter here. The filtered output pipe will go, and I want something cheap. Let's do granite, because it gets a decor bonus. I don't really know if that matters for pipes at all, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, I'll just dump the gas right there. And then this is going to be for oxygen or anything else. So it'll only pump CO2 down there. So we'll just do that. Oh, and those need power. And I might just add a generator for those specifically. And we'll just turn both on at the same time. Okay, how's the... Okay, it's working. Yeah, the pressure's spreading now that we opened up those. It's starting to push, push left here. Sweet! Insulated pipes still aren't done. I don't know why, even though they're priority six, feels like people aren't doing what they need to be doing. I guess that is the downside to having only five dupes, is there's not very many running around, and if one of them has a, a priority in their own schedule of, like, cooking, then they're just gonna cook. They're not gonna, you know, build anything. So, that's probably what's going on here. Um, what button is it? F6? We'll see if the uh, insulated pipes end up fixing this problem or not. Do you want it to be high priority? In fact, I'll make it seven, just in case. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Get those pipes done. Gas wise, yeah, you can see that high pressure oxygen is pushing the CO2 kind of back as it condenses it. I don't know what high pressure is. It could be two kilograms per tile. I don't remember what classifies as like high pressure. Eventually the oxalate will stop because it's like, you know, over pressured or whatever. I definitely haven't gotten to that stage. Okay, so now the water is 
4.95 degrees Celsius. That's what the water in this is, right? Yeah, about 5 degrees. Hmm. I'm guessing the temperature does still change, but I don't know. Oh, the thermal conductivity is only 0 0.063. Interesting. It still does seem to be changing though. 4.7 on the corner. Wasn't it just 4.9 a second ago? Or was I looking at a different tile? Oh, it might have moved. I don't know. They're getting all this work done. Sweet. What's our next project that we need to think about? We've got the supercomputer. Maybe a, a mess hall to improve morale. Um, it actually seems like a reasonable idea. Mind that out. Food is more than fine. Feels great. I still don't know where we keep getting all these sherberries from. Is it really just these two plants here? I can't even reach that one. I haven't been in this area, so I'm not getting anything from there. There's no sherberry plants along here. Those are literally the only two sherberry plants. So where do I keep getting, or are they just leftovers? Are they not eating them first? Can I prioritize sherberries? Yeah, see, it's it's a negative one morale, so they're probably not eating them. That's what's going on. They're preferring the pike apples. Um, can I cook sherberries in any way? No, I need. I would need more recipes for that. All right, what do we got? Anything good? Sand? Fried mushrooms? Eh. I mean, it'd make them ha happier for a minute, but I think the sand is a bigger, bigger deal. Oh! Th the flock's had a baby. That's fun. And that reminds me of ranching. Yeah, we already got it about halfway researched. I think we had to detour for the the bathroom mishap of 2024. Also, I know people have some skills. I should assign things. So sweet corn whiskey. Morale deficit. That's bad. Four out of three. Would that... Oh, that would increase my morale need by three. Oh, I see. These are plus one morale need. These are plus two. Those are plus three. That would be plus... Well, it's plus ten because it's adding it all up. So I don't really want them to go that high. Lodro, on the other hand, could learn... We need some sort of doctor. So you're still the doc, Lodro. Edison... is our digger. And you get a morale bonus for learning this, so that kind of fixes, well, doesn't quite fix it. It would go from to six, six, because it's only a one morale bonus, but that still helps offset the problem. Now, the critter ranching has been learned. Crop tending would put you in a morale deficit. That'd be bad. So maybe for now, I give you improved carrying. That doesn't really do much, though. I would like someone to have plumbing. And Lodro could be it, but 
We'll make we'll make Bull be the plumber. So basically this would be free. Because it would do plus one on morale and morale need, but I'm just gonna hold off for now. Okay, what's the requirement for a mess hall versus a great hall? Mess table, fancy decor item, and a recreational building. And I would need 32 tiles. Yeah, I might... I might make this one available for the Great Hall. So that's 16, so that would be 32 tiles. I'll just make it slightly bigger. Do our door there, and that'll be the eventual mess hall. Okay, how's gas looking? Perfect. Things are looking good. I may not need that gas pump after all, now that I've built it. <laughs> the good news is, in this game, buildings aren't that expensive. At least the, the you know, lower tier buildings like this. Like, this only cost us, uh, what did we build it out of? Property? Yeah, it's just 50 kilograms of ore. You know, like that, that's all we needed to build it. It didn't really cost us much other than a little bit of time. So that is the nice thing is buildings don't cost you a ton, even if you don't end up using them. It'll be nice to just have that if we need it for later. For now, it seems like we're okay for once. We're going to end up with a lot of alveovera seeds. Also, why are they never building these ladders? It, it feels like they've been avoiding those ladders for weeks now. So I'm going to high prioritize it and see if it ever happens. Yeah, there they go. I guess people have just always had something better to do. Nice. Good job, Edison. Finally got it done. Beautiful. Alright, what else needs to be done? Ranching is... researched? <gasps> yes! Grooming, shearing, critter feeder, fish release, fish feeder, critter pickup, critter pop up. Okay, so we're gonna have to plan this out. So we need a stable, which needs a ranching building, minimum of 12 tiles. So where do I wanna keep the little critters? Maybe just over here? Hmm. I'm leaving this stuff in the middle pretty open for later game stuff. So maybe over here is good. Um, I'll open this up. I'll bring the ladder down. I don't know if that's quite big enough. Let's do this. Or, yeah, there. Ladder. I think it would have worked the other way too. But yeah, let's let's turn this into the critter room. Critter feeder. So we'll have a critter feeder in here. This will be the door. Just get some random tiles. And then what else? I need a grooming station. Make 
Makes critters happy. Does it need power? No. Uproot that. Make a back wall here. Okay. How's gas? Gas is good. Gas is looking good, finally. Now, this is kind of a funny thing. We want to disable that. No gas output. What? Oh, I forgot, like, the most basic step of that. Filter output two needs to be carbon dioxide. And then we'll just disable those for now. Food is good. Oxygen is good. All that oxalite helped out quite a bit. sleep they're so cute okay crops uh food stress breathability everything's everything's coming up crydax all right what is this we want to feed flocks anything in the flocks resource category Pike apples. Basically it. All the pike apples. Critter drop off. It will drop off boxes in here. What does this do? Pick up. Oh, that's so you can have like a breeding room and you'll pick up extras. Once they grow up. That's actually a cool idea. Um, for now, though. Do you need to build a rock crusher? Uh, for now, I need the grooming station. How big does this stable need to be? 12 tiles? Hopefully it's big enough. I know sometimes animals get unhappy. I'll make it a little bigger. Um, animals can get unhappy with the size of the room they're in, I think. And I don't know what the rules are for all those numbers. Also, I kind of forgot I was building ladders out of wood. That's a problem. So we should make sure we're not doing that anymore. Hooray! Alright, critter. Blocks, blocks spawn. Max of 20? Uh, let's say max of 10 for now. Outside of stable. It won't be soon, once these are done. I'll up the build priority of those. How did a Sherberry get up there? That's the real question. All right, how's our water temperature doing? Um, three degrees. I guess the problem is this overall water pond is a little too, ugh, a little too cold. have the heater yet, do I? Like a way to warm up water. I don't think so. Mm. 
Oh, look, you can see the temperature dropping even in the insulated pipe. There it goes. Negative 0 0.01. <laughs> so what's the temperature of the pipe? Negative 23. I mean, you know, that's part of the problem. There's a 20 degree difference, which is pretty big. Wow, I haven't seen compost get flipped in a while. Interesting. Does it even have anything in it? It has 100 kilograms of polluted dirt still. Oh, interesting. Okay, so then... Hmm. I need to research... Animal control? No. Agriculture, eventually. I think for now I just want a way to make things warmer. Which is gonna be somewhere. This one? Liquid probably that. The liquid tepidizer. Yeah. I think that'll be it. We will make it tepid. Hopefully that should work. Because with them using the restrooms every day, there is some amount of flow through the pipes. It's just very slow. Very slow flow. Which just obviously ends up giving time for the pipes to freeze. You know, this one at the very end is negative 1.4. So we'll see. Yeah, it looks like the the water is... Ooh, the water's down to 3 degrees. Yeah, that's bad. That's problematic. It's going to start freezing soon. And which one of these is better? Interesting. So the, the heat capacity of snow is higher. But... Its mass is way lower than a regular tile. Um, so to change the snow tile's temperature, you only need, we'll just call it 60 units, right? 2 times 30 to change by 1 degree. Whereas this needs 200 units. So the igneous rock tiles change more slowly. Or you, you could say it requires more energy to heat it up. Um, however, the thermal conductivity has to only do... Like, the, the thermal conductivity is only related to its temperature and the temperature of the thing next to it. And the rate of heat transfer is determined by the object with the lowest thermal conductivity. So it will transfer less temperature into the water than this will. These are actually transferring more temperature into the water. Um, or I should say it the other way. The water is warmer. So the water is losing more heat to these igneous rock tiles. Um, and I don't have insulated tiles yet, so it would actually be best for me to replace these with snow tiles. That's kind of all I'm trying to say here. Because we want to slow the rate that the water tiles, if I can click on it, you know, uh, I guess it's actually 0.6 for water, which is about the same as the 0.54. So never mind, it's not going to change much. So the water is only transmitting its temperature into this tile at a rate of 0.6. DTU per meter per second. Uh per degree Celsius watts for each degree Celsius difference. Yeah. Yeah, so if this is 10 degrees warmer, it'll move six watts basically, or DTUs or whatever. I don't remember exactly all that, how all the math works, but it's something like that. But then I guess, I don't know. 
We just need a tepidizer. That's all I know. And obviously the insulated tiles would be nice, which is here. Maybe I'll do that next. Because that gets me a space heater as well. Okay, so I should be able to capture some critters now. I'll wrangle you, wrangle you, wrangle you. And we'll get some, some phlox farming going. Of course, they they mined out the tile, but didn't build the tile. So, <laughs> classic dupes. Leaving things half finished. Okay, food seems to be going down. Body temperature. Wait, what's their body temperature that they like? Oh, they gotta be real cold. Interesting. It's getting too warm over here because of this, because of the water. Huh. I really do need insulated tiles, don't I? So I'm trying to think, so the thing is this, the specific heat capacity, or I should say the mass is so low that even though the thermal conductivity is low, the air changes temperature pretty easily because, you know, if this throws I don't know, half a unit in, it changes the whole thing one degree because it's only one kilogram of carbon dioxide. So yeah, even though you see the really low thermal conductivity of air, it ends up still changing fairly quickly. Yeah, because over here it's negative 20 degrees, just fine. That's okay, we'll figure it out eventually. Alright, is this the right room? It is! It's a stable! Crater taming and mood bonus. Now, are we wrangling? Who's my, who's my wrangler? Oh yeah, here. You got it! Aww, poor little thing. Don't worry, we'll, <laughs> we'll get you safe and sound to your new home. Hooray! Now it says wild. This critter is wild. Um. Scale growth. So them eating helps. Wildness. Here we go. At 0% wildness, a critter becomes tame, increasing its metabolism and requiring regular care from duplicates. Total change per cycle. Is still on the full wildness. How do you decrease that? Is it the grooming station? Who's, who's our critter person? Uh, our critter person is Bulby, right? So ranching should also be up there. Ranching should probably be top priority above farming. I guess they're both pretty high priority. Huh. We'll see what happens. I did get that right, right? It's Bulby? Yeah, Bulby has the ranching. Okay, so here they go. What are they doing? There they go. The grooming the flocks. Hooray! Okay, so minus 55% per cycle when they're groomed. So it takes two days once they're being groomed. Crowded. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Wow, they really need a lot of space, huh? Now I'm hopeful. Here's my idea. 
<laughs> I'm hopeful that by doing this, they will feel like they're in a big enough room, even though it's only a ceiling. Uh, I'm hoping they're not measuring, like, how much room they have to roam. Because if they are, we're not, uh, not gonna do very well here. I don't know why it's called scales. They don't have scales. Shouldn't it be called antler growth, not scale growth? That's a little confusing to me. Um, when do they lay eggs and how do they lay eggs? That's my other question. It says 100% chance, but what's the... What's the, you know, process look like? Probably won't won't lay eggs when it's crowded. That's my guess. Um. Properties <laughs> melting point. Uh. <laughs> Also, that number should be a little lower than that, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure whatever a flox is made out of, it would melt a little cooler than 9,000 degrees. But what do I know? Building entombment. Yes. Long commutes. Building lacks resources. Alright, blueprint. I'll take some food. Just to... Make sure we don't have any food issues for a while. Sweet! We've got little floxies. They're so cute. Seriously though, they are so cute. Um, priority six. Get this part done. I wanna see. I wanna see if we can get them to uncrowded territory. I could also just Google it real quick. That's always a good idea. Uh, how much room do floxes need? Oh, and I. Oxygen not included. Oh my god, I'm getting, like, actual... Google thinks I meant to spell foxes. No, I meant to spell floxes. I really meant... So... Not... Interesting. Not finding an obvious. Hmm. Yeah, I can't. Uh... I don't know. Can't figure it out. Hey, it worked. Except that one. Yeah, let's uh get rid of this. Snow. Oh, damn it! I need a tile here. Get that done. I don't need two people to do that, right? Just, just the one. Okay, but at least they have enough room now. So what, is three critters my max for now? I'm gonna Google Flox Oxygen Not Included. Wiki.gg, there we go, okay. Uh, does this tell me how much space it needs? Decor. Ranching. 12 cells per Flox. Okay, got it. So we get every six. When fed pike apples, each flocks requires 0.6 domestic pike apple bushes. Now, can I tell this to not make? Interesting. Like, I want it to only make enough pike apples to have a certain amount of calories and then stop. 
which I want to say we can do that with automation. Um, I think it's actually easier than it used to be nowadays, so I think we can do that. I don't know if I have the right researches for it, but I do think it's possible. So I probably should plant a few more pie apples here. Just to make sure we've got enough for our floxies. Because, yeah, I don't want to cook them all. Right now, they're all getting cooked into pie apple skewers, which is going to be a problem. That actually is a big problem. Then I won't have anything to feed the flocks. Feed the flocks. Okay, probably... Uh-oh. Hmm... Probably gonna need one of these fancy ones. I don't know which one. Hmm. I need a sensor. How can I read storage? That's what I'm curious about. It doesn't seem like any of these. Well, let's just start with Smart Home. Um, light sensor, timer sensor. Maybe I can connect. Yeah, maybe we can do it. I don't, I don't know what all the interfaces look like for those things yet. Also, will these automatically be sheared? How do I, how do I get shearing going on? Is that here? Hmm, it's harvesting. That's not the right thing. Disconnect, empty pipe. So once they're wrangled, do I need a shearing station? Did I just totally miss that? Hmm, station. Oh, yep, there it is. Of course, we don't have enough room for it. Um, maybe the shearing station will go on a different level here. They can take it outside the room to shear it. Okay, so that will get us a total of 180 kilograms per cycle because that's 60 per one cycle and I have three of them 180 kilograms of wood per cycle very much for reference I've used 10,000 in 32 cycles what's 180 times 32 uh, 6,000 okay so this alone could have supplied almost all the wood I've used so far. And heck, I mean, a lot of the wood I've used is just ladders. Each ladder's a hundred. So for a while I was not, not using my wood very wisely. I'll just say that. Okay, the liquid tuning is done. Automation is done. Wait, what? Oh no, it's just getting started. Oh. Ceiling light is done. Flower pot. Let's plant a flower there. And the mess hall needs a decor. Or no, this is where we need the decor item. Mess hall needs decor as well. We'll do that. There's our 40 tiles. Yeah, once I have the decor item, we should be good. Yeah, as to how I control the grill to only make up to a certain amount is interesting. We'll see if we can figure that out. I know it's possible. 
kind of a craft two order. Actually, no, it's not a craft two order. It's only a craft win order. And it needs to be when I have over a certain amount of pike apples. Because these are going to start starving if we're not careful. I guess I could increase the priority of the critter feeder. Right now it has... That amount of pike apples. I don't know how much pike apple is... Uh... How much food, you know what I mean? Like, how much are they eating per day or whatever? I want more numbers. Doesn't tell me. I have 25 kilograms of pike apples. Uh, what does it say here? It just says wind fed pike apples. I'm not seeing how much they eat. Oh, there it is. They eat 160 K cals per cycle. That's not very much. And is it true that the pike apple 800 K cals weighs how much? One kilogram. So they only need 200 grams to get 160 K cals. That's how that works. Okay. So we should be fine then. The critter feeder is actually stealing all of my pike apples. So we need a maximum of maybe just 30 kilograms of pike apples here. That should be more than enough for our hungry little critters. Crap, that does need to be inside the stable. Dang it. Well, I may have to expand the room to include that area. Oh, I need refined metal for any of the automation stuff, okay. So you can't connect storage. That's what I was worried about. How? How? How can I do that? You guys are probably going to leave comments. I I keep meaning to mention more often. This is mostly pre-recorded, so like I'll see your comment and by the time I see your comment, you know, I might already be 3 4 5 7 Sometimes only one episode <laughs> ahead of your comments. So definitely leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think. If there's something I'm missing, you know, feel free to comment on it. It's just know that it might be a few episodes to a lot of episodes before I like have the knowledge that you're sharing with me. Um, Cause yeah, right now I'm really trying to figure out like how could I make it so that this, it is low priority. So I guess that alone makes it a little better but not in terms of delivering. Because pike apples are going to be delivered here just as often as they're delivered here. Because they're both priority five. I guess if I made this priority six, then pike apples should get delivered here first. And that kind of fixes my problem when a dupe grabs a pike apple. The problem is what I'm not sure of is if... So Derpamu has a cooking priority, right? And so Derpamu is going to go cook before anything else. And if Derpamu goes to cook here and there's no pike apples, will Derpamu go grab a pike apple that's laying on the ground specifically for cooking as part of the cooking job? Or will Derpamu say, oh, no pike apples exist, I won't cook? So, because if they go and grab the item as part of their job, then we could have an issue where pike apples go to the grill before they go to the, you know, wrangling station. Uh-oh. What, what happened? The heck?
Uh, I totally missed what happened here. It didn't say somebody made a mess, did it? Did I just totally miss that? Where did this polluted water come from? Um... Hmm. I actually... I'm, I missed it. I don't know how that happened. Well, mop it up. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I do think we are needing to call it an episode, though. How did this happen? I'll have to look at the footage. <laughs> I'm really curious when and how that happened. Because I must have missed something. And I think the last thing we'll do before we call it an episode is make the tepidizer. So... Why don't I... I need to expand a little bit here. Where is that thing? Temperature, probably? Is there a temperature one? Is it utilities? There we go. Oh, it's really fat. It's four tiles fat. Okay. Cool. Uh, in that case... Do something like that. And then I'll end up deconstructing that tile. We'll make the tepidizer. Right there. And then... Wire. Go there. Yeah, I really have no idea how that mess happened. Did... Did the polluted water freeze and bust out of the pipe? That might be what's happening. What's the freezing of polluted water? Well, let me click on it. Um, polluted water... Freezes at negative 20. Maybe that's what happened. Huh. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh well, I'm gonna call that an episode. We've got our phloxes uh, nice and happy. Wait, cramped? How are you cramped? We just made sure you weren't. Oh, there's an egg in here? Oh, I can't see it. This Adilla seed is in the way. Apparently there's a phlox egg back there. I would like to collect that and not leave it in here. No available storage bin can accept this item. Critter eggs can go here. Why not? Alright, we're gonna call that an episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about Oxygen Not Included, The Frosty Planet. Things are seemingly going pretty well. And I will see you all in the next episode.